Right guys, can you see me? I think you can. Can you hear me? I think you can hear me too. I would be absolutely amiss if I did not bring my camera out right at this very moment and create this video. My YouTube channel is all about being as open and honest and transparent as possible. You've heard me say it before and you'll hear me say it again. Right now, I'm standing outside of a car wash. Uh, I'm here in Christchurch. I am spending what will be probably one of the last days I spend in Christchurch. Um, possibly ever. No, I'm not going to say ever, but I will say for the month of December. Today's date is the 1st of December. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's the first thing I want to say. I turned 30 years of age four, four days ago. Okay? Four days ago. I'm 30. 30! And one thing I will say before getting into this video is... Uh, this video is not going to be long and there's one message that I'm going to, well I'm going to hit back at anyone that calls me 30 and tries to give me shit about my age and that is that age is just a number and uh, the age old saying goes, look no one's really said this yet but I'm going to. I'm going to bring this saying into mainstream pop culture and that is that 30 is the new 20, that's what I think anyway. So guys, I'm here and I want to welcome you to honestly van life day one van life day one last night I'd had enough I'd had enough I need to get out of the house I need to get out of the house I had such a great time down in Queenstown such a great time you know living life on my terms being in the van not having anyone to answer to you know that's what that's what living on the roads about I suppose it just seemed as though it was too far-fetched it seemed like it was never gonna be possible I didn't have the van I didn't have the equipment I didn't know what was involved after talking to my mate Tim Tim Grant he is an old high school friend of mine he came over um, for my 30th birthday and uh, we spent the next day traveling around in his van around the local local spots here in Christchurch um, next to the water uh, called Banks Peninsula and we spent about five hours in his van, or outside of the van. We parked up next to the next to the water. There was absolutely no one around. You know, COVID times means there's fuck all people around. The only people that are travelling around New Zealand right now are the overseas travellers who've been stuck, or locals who are wanting to experience their own country, just like myself. So the first thing I'm going to say is that my mate Tim is coming with me. He's got his own camper van, and I've got this one. Uh, I went out yesterday and I bought a whole heap of stuff, and I will get into that. Um, today's video I just had to make because this is day one. I slept in that van last night in my driveway. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to try it. I had to try it out and it fucking worked. And uh, I'll tell you what, I think I can do this. I think we can do this. So, today is Tuesday. I've got a few more things to buy. Tomorrow's Wednesday. The plan is to take off tomorrow afternoon and spend our very first night on the road next to what is the most stunning lake I have ever laid my eyes on and it's probably about four hours south halfway between here and Queenstown it's called Lake Pukaki it is unbelievable and I cannot wait to wake up at six in the morning next to that lake and show you guys exactly what I'm experiencing. This is all about experiences. This is all about living with no regrets. This is not about vanity. This is not about getting views. This is not about subscribers. But if you do want to subscribe, please do. But it's not about that, man. This is about me living my life. This is about me experiencing life on my own terms. Finally, the one thing I do want to say before I do go, because this is going to be a one take video, is that I did intend to spend Christmas with my kids in uh, Australia. I bought a ticket, it got cancelled, and due to increasing COVID restrictions, basically guys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck here for Christmas. And so that's why I've, I've put my ass into gear and got this shit ready, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to go mate, I'm ready to fucking go. If I can't get back to Australia for Christmas, I ain't spending Christmas at my dad's house. It's done. It's done. I love my dad, he loves me, I know he does. He might not say it much, but I know he does. But it's certainly time for us to uh, to uh, spend some time apart, I think. <laughs> so as long as he wishes me luck, and as long as he still loves me, even after all the arguments we've had, I'm happy enough. So guys, this was van life, day number one. Day number two is tomorrow, 
and uh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm extremely nervous, but um, I'll tell you one thing, if it doesn't make you nervous, it doesn't matter enough. So, I'll leave you with that. I've got my rig, I've got a, a microphone connected to my G7X Mark III, I've got another microphone for my camera, I'm taking my drone, I've got, I've got a few things, but I'll show you that. Because we're continuing to create content. Look, I'll go on the road, I'll go on the road, okay? No problems, but I want to still create content whilst I'm on the road. And that's what I had to work out, and that's what we're going to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put my crazy festival glasses back on. And I'll see you for day number two of van life. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's, it's got to be done. Peace, guys. If I'm inspiring or motivating any of you guys out there to do the same, let me know down in the comment section below. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.